Okay, guys, we're here today with Tony Blass. Huge honor for me. Guys, Tony is one of the best sellers instructors in the BGJ Fanatics website. And today he's going to show us here uh, one Achilles attack going to the knee bar. So I'm very excited to learn from Tom. Uh, let's do it. All right, guys. So I'm uh, just going to put our if you can see right over here. So let's just say we're in uh, the general uh, Ashikrami position. So sit down. Uh, you're going to sit. And I have access to Bernardo's leg. So, generally speaking, a big, strong guy like Bernardo, uh, he has thick legs, okay? So attacking an Achilles, there, there's two kinds of Achilles. There's one high Achilles where we come right underneath the calf, then a short Achilles. What I have to understand about the Achilles lock is we're not actually ripping the Achilles, we're breaking the small bones in the foot, and we're breaking the shin. So ironically, we're kind of jumping over the Achilles. Like we're not gonna rupture an Achilles tendon with an Achilles lock. You're gonna rupture an Achilles tendon by running and jumping and things such as that. So from here also we have a knee bar that I'm gonna show you guys, which is gonna actually attack the LCL, which is a very violent knee bar. So the first thing I'm gonna to do to attack the Achilles, number one, just like I'm in any general leg lock position, I wanna hide my top foot to start, okay? From here, I'm gonna bring my hand directly under his Achilles and make sure I'm catching his toes, all right, underneath my armpit, all right, almost, like now we're going for a heel. Now, I wanna start turning his ankle towards me in this position. Now I need some kind of leverage from here. So I'm gonna bring my feet right to Bernardo's hip. Now it doesn't look like I have this very, very tight. The Achilles of the leg lock, we don't necessarily need to cover the knee line in order to get, okay? From this position, I'm just gonna lock my hands, pinch my knees. Now. Generally speaking, we finish leg locks on our elbow. From here, however, I'm gonna to roll to my shoulder. As I roll to my shoulder, I'm gonna look over my head, crunch and pull, getting the lock. Now, this lock is so tight, I don't necessarily need to have my feet in the actual hip. I could get this lock right here in this position. All right, the blade of my arm is up and I'm crunching I'm actually, it's a contradiction because I'm pulling, all right, while I'm pushing. So I'm pushing this down while I'm pulling the ankle up towards me and I'm crunching, getting a quick, it's gonna be a quick, quick tap, all right? It's a much quicker tap than if I were to be underneath the shin. Generally speaking, I come underneath the shin and I try to break the shin itself with my foot, with my feet in the hip. Now, if my feet aren't in the hip, what I wanna think about doing is rolling belly down. And this is IBJJF legal as well. So I wanna to try to come, if I can't get my feet in the hip, all right, I wanna to try to come as close to belly down as possible. So I'm gonna bring my hand across my body, coming to my shoulder. All right, once I'm here, I start looking up over my head. I'm putting pressure on his toes, okay? Now, a very, something that I never see done from this position is just the general knee bar. Because most people think we have to cover the knee in order to get the knee bar, which is wrong. Okay, I'm gonna show you exactly why. Let's say my partner is putting the boot on. A long guy like Bernardo, it's very hard to get the Achilles if they're keeping their legs straight, all right? So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna free my hand, lift, and throw his leg to my lap. Notice I literally throw his leg to my lap. Now in this position, this knee bar is gonna be attacking his LCL. So you have to be very, very careful, all right? Because there's no flexing of the knee. As I extend in this position, I'm actually blowing his LCL out, okay? So his, his knee is gonna explode out in this position. If he tried to roll, all right, any which way, I could roll with it and just get right back to the Achilles, coming belly down, get him to tap, all right? So, from this position as well, first, I'm catching the toes, coming right to this here. You can see the face is already uncomfortable. This is only one hand. You can get it with just one hand. Two, I'm throwing it to my lap. Now, most people, all right, this is gonna be very uncomfortable for him. So from here, if he starts turning kind of his knee totally this way, all right, that's when I'm gonna to have to switch back to the Achilles, 
All right, I'm gonna have to switch back to the Achilles. If it starts turning the other way, all right, it's okay, I can switch back to the Achilles in this direction as well. Yeah. Right back here. All right, so there's many different things you can do. What you have to understand, anytime I get a knee bar that is totally facing the outside of this knee, okay, it's one of the most dangerous knee submissions you could go for. All right, because most people think we're just attacking the knee bar on the top. So we could actually attack the knee bar, attacking the MCL, LCL, or above the knee in this position. All right, and the more he strains his leg, the worse it's gonna be for him, because I just start extending in, and it's gonna get really, really tight on the outside of his leg very, very quickly, all right? From this position as well, we could also start attacking toes. Now, most people think the leg has to be bent in order to get toes, you're wrong. All right, all I need to think about doing is covering the toes touching the toes towards his calf in this position. So I'm not coming to the side of the foot. I'm coming over the three toes. So my hand is gonna cover the toes. I'm catching and I'm bringing the toes to the calf, all right? The general rule of consensus is when the toes don't bend anymore, when the foot doesn't bend, it's gonna break, okay? Now, even if he brought this above my head, all right, I still have a toe hold in this position, all right? And again, I can switch back, coming to Achilles, and there's always heel hooks as well, all right? Many different options from this position. Give it a try. Yeah. So guys, uh, look how many different attacks uh, Tom set up from one position, right? So he can attack the Achilles that he was even doing without two hands, which was amazing and was really, really tight. From there, he could go to the knee bar and to the, the, to the toe hold. So guys, uh, Tom just shot one entire instruction all about foot locks and the knee bar and that kind of stuff and came out really, really good. So make sure to check it out on bjfanatics.com. Awesome, thanks so much, you guys. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.